Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make these super cute Minecraft banners that would look great in your bedroom. These Minecraft banners are super cute and super easy to make. Today I'll be showing you two different ways to make them. First, I'm going to be showing you how to make the Minecraft flower banner. So here's what you'll need. A ruler, a pencil, some fabric glue, scissors, an X-Acto knife, a wooden strip, I'll have a link in the description below to the one that I use, some fabric, two sheets of paper, some tape, a sponge brush, either one of these will work, and some paint in the color red. So let's begin. Start off by grabbing your fabric, your ruler, and a pencil. Right now, we are gonna start off by creating the size of our banner. First, what you wanna do is draw a rectangle that measures eight by 16 inches. Once you've done that, you want to draw an outer rectangle that's about one inch bigger on all four sides. Now using the outer rectangle as a guide, begin cutting out your banner. Once that's done, use the lines from the inner rectangle as a guide for your folds. These are the places where we want to fold over our fabric. I recommend that you iron each side to get a nice crease. So now that I finished ironing, flip over your fabric and grab your fabric glue. Begin placing a thin line of glue on each fold, then fold it over and make sure to apply gentle pressure. While we wait for the glue to dry, grab your two sheets of paper and print out two copies of the template that I have down in the description below. Grab one copy and set the other aside. Grab your scissors and cut out the section that says cut one. Make sure you take your time because these pieces are gonna act as stencils. So now grab your second copy and cut out both cuts one and two. So here are the stencils that you should be left with. So now grab your banner and your first stencil. What you wanna do now is place your stencil right in the middle. What you can do is measure both the top and the bottom to make sure that there's equal space left on each side. Once you've found the middle, you want to go ahead and tape your stencil in place. Now grab your paint and begin painting the middle section. Make sure to paint away from the paper and not towards it. Now that it's done drying, you want to go ahead and grab your second cutout. First, get the smaller stencil and place it in the middle and tape it into place. Grab your bigger stencil and place it in the middle. Again, make sure to measure both sides to make sure it's in the middle and then secure it with tape. Begin painting the rest of the flower, making sure to paint away from the paper and not towards it. I found that using a dabbing motion around the edges made it a lot easier. Now that you're done painting, carefully remove the stencil. While we're waiting for the banner to dry, grab your wooden strip, your ruler, and your X-Acto knife. What we want to do now is measure the stick so that it's 8 inches long. Once you've found your mark, go ahead and carefully cut your strip. Make sure that you ask an adult for help and that you're very careful when you're doing this. Now that our banner is dry, we can go ahead and add our wooden strip. Flip your banner over to the back, add some glue to the stick, and place it at the top of the banner. Make sure you don't use too much glue because you don't want it to bleed through the fabric. So now you can go ahead and use the wooden strip to hang your banner on the wall. So here's what it should look like when it's all done. Now I'm gonna be showing you how to make the Minecraft Creeper banner. So once again, here's what you'll need. A ruler, a pencil, some fabric glue, scissors, an X-Acto knife, a wooden strip, some black felt, a white crayon, and some green fabric. So let's begin. Just like in the last banner, we're gonna start off by drawing a rectangle that measures eight by 16 inches. This time, we're only gonna be drawing one rectangle. So we're gonna use this line as the guide to cut out our banner. Make sure you take your time because we want our edges to be nice and clean. What we're gonna do now is begin measuring our creeper face. First, we're gonna start off by drawing the eyes. You wanna do this by drawing a three by three inch square. So once you've drawn one, right next to that, draw your second eye, which will also be the same size. Now we need to draw the mouth. I'll have a picture on the screen showing you the measurements if at any point you get confused. Start off at the middle of the felt and draw a three inch line. From each end, draw a one and a half inch line going down.
From that point, draw one and a half inch line going out to the right and do the same on the opposite side going to the left. Now on the right side, draw a three inch line going down and do the same on the left. Then draw a one and a half inch line going inward on both sides. From there, go up one and a half inches on the left and the right side. Lastly, connect both of these points. So now that we have everything done, go ahead and cut out the creeper eyes and mouth. So once again, grab your banner, your cutout, and your fabric glue. Find the center of your banner and place your creeper face. Once you've aligned everything, go ahead and glue the face to the banner. While we wait for the glue to dry, you want to go ahead and grab your wooden strip and your X-Acto knife. Once again, we're going to cut this down to 8 inches. Alrighty, so here are our Minecraft banners all done. As you can see, this is a great way to add the Minecraft decor to your bedroom. They were super easy to make and you could decide to do it with paint or with felt. Don't forget that you can do this with any design as long as you have a template. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this Minecraft DIY, please leave a like and share. Also, let me know if there's anything else you want me to DIY next. Bye!